you remember when the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro were announced, there was this really cool demo from Filmic Pro where you could record multiple cameras at the same time and cut back and forth between them. That app is finally out. It's called Double Takes. We came to Venice Beach. Let's see what we can do with it. Multicam video recording is something that professionals do all the time, but it usually takes quite a bit of work. You have to have multiple cameras and then sync them up afterwards. Now, with an iPhone, you can do it super easily. My strategy right now is I'm shooting with the ultra wide and the telephoto lens to get that biggest difference as you zoom in and out. Obviously this is only available on the Pro. On the 11 you could use the wide and the ultra wide. The way the app works is you start off with a grid of all four cameras having live streams viewable at once. You can select up to two of them to record. This can either be recorded to separate video files or combined into the same file using split mode or picture in picture. There's a few different frame rates you can choose from by default to 24, which I prefer. If in Europe, there's 25 frames per second or 30 frames per second. And again. And it is recording at the higher bit rate that Filmic Pro already does in their professional apps. You're getting more video image quality than if you use the default video app from Apple. You can also rotate the whole thing into vertical mode like this and then record split screen up and down, which I kind of love this idea for social media. You can do this thing where you're showing people what you see and they're seeing you at the same time. It actually makes really good use of vertical video without having to change your composition to make sense specifically for it. This is one of those apps that's made to be easy enough for everybody to use. So I think there'll be a lot of social media use, just people doing family videos, but at the same time, professionals absolutely can do this too. I think one of the most interesting uses for double take is gonna be interviews where you have two sides of a conversation and you wanna be able to capture it easily without setting up that other second camera. So obviously, you know, journalists are gonna be able to just pull out their phone, see themselves and whoever they're talking to. But for me, what I love this for is the podcast. So I often have great guests like today, there's Jason Ang over here. And I can just put the iPhone in between us, hit record, and now I've got a video component to go along with the audio without bringing a whole ton of extra camera gear. Jason, what's the easiest way for normal people to get great lighting in their photography? The magic hour, mm. last 15 minutes of the day, perfect light. Sometimes I think about the difference between just before the sun sets and just after, and I've started to really love immediately after it's set. So there's no harsh light, it's just super soft. You know, you know it's funny, you see those days and you, you always just wish you had everything that you had to do at that perfect moment when that sky breaks or when it's overcast or whatever it is. I also think some people get so attached to overcast lighting, they think it's the only way to get soft, beautiful lighting. But if the sun is bright out, you can also just put it behind the person. So the backlighting just creates this nice silhouette, but the reflected light on their face is soft. But now it's the software is so good that shooting direct, direct sunlight can be beautiful as well. You just have to use what you've got. And that's just a sample of the StallmanPodcast.com. <laughs> Recording with multiple cameras has always been a ton of work because you have to not only set up the second camera, so you got twice as much work there, but then in post, there's all of the syncing and then cutting back and forth between them. It takes a lot of effort. I'm glad to have one option, one way that I can do it quickly and easily without almost any effort at all. Of course, this isn't a replacement for multiple cameras. When we're shooting stuff for our clients, we still will use more than one big camera, but it gives us an option, a little more flexibility, especially for casual running gun stuff. There's a few different ways you can go with this. You could either set it to split screen mode and that could show both of us the whole time. It means zero editing later because it's just already there in the file. Or you could record two discrete video files and then edit them together afterwards. It's really not that hard. You could just import them both into iMovie. They sync up automatically and just cut back and forth to whichever one you wanna see. There's one other interesting use I found for this app while we were on the trip. We were at a movie premiere for the new Harley Quinn and the cast came out right in front of me and I wanted to capture the moment for Instagram stories, but I didn't know if I wanted to look at it wide or telephoto, so I just recorded both. Then when I edited my stories together into a little vlog, I cut back and forth between the close-ups and the further away shots. Typically, lens choice is a creative decision you wanna make ahead of time, but sometimes life's just happening in front of you and you wanna capture it in as many ways as possible. Filmic Pro made their name by creating the go-to app for professionals in the video world, and now they're breaking out into something that I think is a little more mainstream and everybody could benefit from. I'd go check it out, it's in the App Store today.